All right, so I have an event tonight and it's a cocktail party. And on the invitation it said, dress to impress. I don't know what that means, but we are gonna dress to impress. And I worked a night shift last night, so I am, um, I'm gonna need some work. So let's get started. All right, first we're gonna prep our skin to get it makeup ready. First I am using Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Treatment Lotion and I find that this product really helps with fighting any redness on the skin. Next I am using the Inculus Caffeine the Puffing and Dark Circle Eye Cream. And we always want to use some sunscreen on our face so I am using Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen and I really like this, this also acts like a primer for me as well because it has a gel consistency. And now for the real primer, I am using MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Mattifying 12 Hour Shine and Control. For foundation, I am using my favorite Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless in the number 118. And this is honestly my most favorite foundation. I have bought this many, many times. Next, I'm going to go in with MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Concealer. And I'm going to focus this on the under eye as well as other blemishes on my face. As well as putting a little highlight on my nose. Next, I'm going to go ahead and start contouring my nose. I am going to use the MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette in light medium. And I am using the shade highlighted in pink called Sculpt. For contouring my nose, I kind of do it differently than what is typically seen on most makeup trends. I am drawing a V on my nose because I want to make it look slimmer. I'm also adding a bit of contour on the side of my nose just to create a bit of a shadow to make it look smaller. And next for bronzer, I'm using Tartius Pro Glow To Go Highlight Contour and I'm using the shade Chisel. I'm going to bring the bronzer down to my jawline just to also create a shadow there to make my face look a bit slimmer. For eyebrows, I don't really do much with the eyebrows. I'm just going to go in with simple shading using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown. Next, I'm going to use my favorite eyeliner, and this is the CoverGirl Get In Line Eyeliner, and I like to use black vinyl. Next for eyeshadows, I am using MAC Cosmetics eyeshadows and for the base, I am using nylon. I am going to go in and put in some pink on my eye and I am going to use the shade Libra. And I am going to focus this on the center of my eyes. Next, to add some depth, I'm using the shade Charcoal Brown and I'm going to focus this on the outer corner of my eyes. I'm going to start to blend that in and push that shadow forward towards the inner corners of my eyes. Not too far where it takes over the pink color, we just want it to overlap. Next, I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow trend called the Egg Yosel. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But this is where we are putting eyeshadow on the pocket of fat found directly under the eye. And in Korean, this is translated as charming fat because many Koreans think having a little pocket of fat under your eyes makes you appear young and more cheerful. So we're going to use some shadows to emphasize this area. If you can find any brownish taupe color, that would be perfect to create that line just under the eyes. For the highlighter, I am using Sephora's under the cover, but you can use any shimmery color that you have. I'm going to be using Kiss in the style Pompadour. 
These are my go-to lashes. I find them very similar to Ardell's Wispies. For blush, I am using MAC Powder Blush in Desert Rose. I'm going to finish it off with the Fit Me Loose Powder in Light. Next on to lips, I am going to line my lips with e.l.f.'s lip liner in Pinky Swear and I honestly really like this lip liner. I was surprised. It's so smooth and buttery and the color looks so nice as well. I do a very simple lip line. I just overline just a little bit on the cupid's bow and just keep everywhere else pretty normal. I'm not really a big fan of overlined lip liner on the lips. I feel like that look just doesn't look good on me. I haven't used this lipstick yet. It's the MAC Cosmetics Richard Quinn in Rose Daydream. And I believe this is a limited edition, so I'm not sure if this is still available. And oh my gosh, I actually really love this color. I'm going to finish off the lips with Milani's Lip Plumper in Champagne. So I'm thinking I'm going to curl my hair for tonight. I am going to start off with using some heat protector on my hair. And any heat protector will do, as long as you have heat protector to protect your strands. I like to start off by splitting my hair in half and starting off with the bottom strands first. Starting off with the left side, I like to make sure that I'm curling away from my face. So I am twirling my hair strand counterclockwise. For the curling iron, I am using a one inch curler. This is more of a personal preference, but I like to pin my curls up because I find that it makes the curls last a lot longer. On the right side, you also want to make sure that you are curling away from your face. And here I am curling clockwise. While I wait for my hair, I'm going to go back with the Tartius Pro Glow to Go Highlight Contour and this time I'm using the color Burst. I am going to put highlighter on my cheeks and of course the tip of my nose. I'm going to run my fingers through my hair instead of using a brush because I find that using a brush softens the curls too much but for me I want to keep the curls looking a lot more curled. And here is the final look. I actually thrifted this Vince Camuto dress for $30 and that's a steal for me because these dresses usually cost around 150 to 200 Canadian. So I was very happy about my purchase. I'm like snacking on nuts right now. Thanks for watching this get ready with me video i hope you enjoyed watching me get ready from looking like a zombie to looking like this thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video